Hello again, I'm Dean Karstens, and this is Dean's N-Scale Trains. Today I'm going to be talking about putting the finishing touches on my layout, the scenic ridge layout. I'm going to be, this is the eighth and final large video on the construction. I'm going to be talking about finishing the tunnel portals, coloring the rocks, putting on the landscaping material, and ballasting the tracks. And after that's done, it's going to look pretty good. Coloring the, coloring the rocks is pretty straightforward. Three little cups of uh, diluted paint came with the kit. Yellow ochre, burnt umber, and black. You start by with the yellow ochre. All right, now I'm gonna move on to the bird umber. Now we're ready for the black. For this, you basically cover everything. As you can see, the rocks look really, really good once they, all the color settles down and gets absorbed. Looks very realistic. Okay, so we're gonna ballast a little bit here. I'm using light gray fine ballast, and it's a lot easier in yards like this because there's no, uh, you don't have this bevel on the edge. Also in yards, tends to be a little bit deeper. 
ballast on the normal railroads, the regular railroads, commercial railroads, whatever. Doing ballast right takes a long time. You want to get everything off the top of the the top of the ties as much as possible. When you're happy with it, start dribbling in scenic cement. To ballast where you have road bed underneath it, start by putting down some white glue on the edge and sprinkle on some ballast. Now, whenever you have a switch, be very, very careful not to add, add any ballast or glue here in this area from here to here where the uh, mechanism moves back and forth. To finish up the ballast, run your fingers over the spots where there's ballast on top of the ties, and you should be able to remove it using a fingernail if you have to. If it's too thick, just break it up. Here's a palette of what I use to uh, finish off the landscape. Most of these came in the Scenic Ridge kit. The light green, medium green, and dark green clump foliage I used mostly for bushes and trees. I use a lot of yellow grass, fine turf, also burnt grass, fine turf, and a, just a little bit of green blend, blended turf. The ballast is uh, light gray. Soil is actually very close to black and I use that a bit. Earth fine turf is a, sort of a brownish earth color. In addition I use uh, coffee grounds which are almost black, cinnamon, the spice, and fine sand. I've already talked about using the fine sand. To finish the landscape, spray with scenic cement where you want to put stuff down. Try to avoid the rocks.
Here I've installed two tunnel portals. For this one, I added some rocks, a rock piece here and down below, and then I'll put some uh, landscaping material around it. Uh, it fit, had to cut a little slot for it down here. Other than that, it fit just fine. This one I had to cut the, away the a bit of the mountain here, the plaster and the plaster cloth, and I used these pins to hold the bottom. As you can see, I'm using tape to hold it back. To glue these, I used Gorilla Construction Adhesive. Down below here, I put in Elmer's white glue to hold these. So let's pull these pins out. They're both in there tight. They dried overnight. And they seem nicely installed tight. So that's finished. Talus is rocks that fall off rock formations such as this and end up on the base to model them. I got this from, uh, this came in the kit, some of this talus. I use a straw with the end cut off as basically a spoon. To get it fairly close. To make the trees, you start with their armatures, bend them into interesting and different shapes. Coat them with hobby tack and then cover them with clump foliage. Push the clump foliage on around. So these I've made before. I don't like the dark green foliage. It's a little bit too dark for northern New Mexico. So I'm going to lighten them up a bit. with my usual earth. Burnt grass. And lighter green. And just for interest, a little bit of cinnamon. Turn them over. And repeat on the other side. To plant bushes, I like to put them mostly around stream beds where you would expect to see bushes. A little bit uh, less dense in the other areas. Just put down some white glue and 
stick them down. After the glue has dried, saturate the uh, bushes with scenic cement. That helps to solidify, to harden them up. So today I'm going to plant some trees and some bushes. Start with these trees that I made. Where I live in the mountains, down in the, the, the uh, only thing that grows besides pine trees are cottonwoods along the rivers, along the wet waterways, and pinions, pinion trees, which grow a little bit higher. So I'm gonna start with what looks like to me a, a uh, small cottonwood. Just poke a hole or drill a hole Where's my hole? I've lost it. Since this is a, a bank where water might run during rains, I could see a cottonwood there. and arrange it so it looks well good.
They say that railroad layouts are never complete, and this one is no exception. Things I have to do, finish bushes and trees throughout the layout, touch up the ballast and white spots here and there, rebuild the back bridges that I tore down to make the roads, install buildings and install lights, I'll do a short video on that, and finally install a stream and lake coming down from the mountain. I'll do another short video on that. But for now, I can enjoy it. As always, if you enjoy these videos, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.